We've got a message from bosses for the unemployed tonight. They say they need to get real. Despite WA's growing unemployment rate, some companies are still looking overseas for staff because they say locals are simply unwilling to do the work. Joel Nabali opened a stock feed store in Hamilton Hill two years ago. Ever since, he struggled to find workers. He says West Australians had it too easy during the mining boom and won't take everyday jobs. You've been able to earn quite a decent amount of money for relatively easy conditions. And so now that that's sort of cooled off a little bit, I think those expectations are still there and the, uh, the, the reality just isn't. Now he's sponsoring Michael Bellman from England, paying the extra immigration expenses of up to $4,000 a year. Joel's paid for it all to try and keep me here um, to help run the business. Michael's so keen for a job, he took two trains and a bus twice a day, a four-hour return journey just to work. He says compared to other countries, Perth workers have it easy. Back in England, I was a, re a hospitality manager at a stadium and I was getting about $15, $16 an hour. And then I went to New Zealand and I was labouring and that was the same, $16 an hour. Recruiters agree. They've come out of the mining boom and the mining boom's ex um, sell expectations are really high if you compare it compared to other industries and across the country. So they've come out wanting the same salary, wanting the same role, but then reality kicks in. Over the past five years, the number of West Australians looking for work has grown by 35,000 people. Our jobless rate at 6.2%, only better than South Australia and Tasmania. The number of temporary overseas workers, or 457 visa holders, has fallen by 25%. But nearly 25,000 still came to WA last financial year, down from 33,000 a year earlier. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Jane Griliusic, Nine News.